Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how I got 24 volts to run through my Ramps 1.4 and my TMC 2100 step, silent step sticks. This results in a really, really quiet setup and I'm really proud of the work that I've done. It's taken me a month to get to this point, I'm just diagnosing an issue that has took me a really long time to figure out. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is print the Ramps extender. People have been clamoring for this thing because they're running out of room for the wires and the ramps boards, but here it is. It takes about three hours to print if I remember correctly, but that'll obviously vary on your settings. I printed it in Sane Smart PLA Plus. Starting in the materials department, you're going to need 5 pin out and 1 pin in cable. I made this myself, just twisting it with my drill. Use DuPont connectors on each end. DuPont connectors can be picked up on Amazon for about 20 bucks. You're also going to need an 8 amp step up converter. Flip your printer around to get started. Unplug any USB. And power off any power supply. I like to lift my ramps door up with a rubber band. Disconnect the ramps fan. Clip the filament out and just kind of break it off. You can use a screwdriver to push out the old filament. Put the new ramps extender on, making sure you get all the wires in the box. bolts into the two holes. Thread in the new filament. It's a bit tricky, but with a little work you can get it. and solder it tight. Put the ramps case fan back in. Please refer to the wiring diagram. Flip your printer around again. Thread in your red line and your black line. Make sure they can reach all five drivers. I only did four of my drivers because my Z motors were essentially quiet without it. Lock down the 24 volt step up converter case. I 
put my wire in this cable wrap that I already have running from my power supply to my ramps box. out your ramps box wiring should be the positive line plug your negative and positive wires into your 12 volt power supply these will be routed to your 24 volt step up Thread the new wires into the box. Adjust the voltage on your power supply so that it reads out at 12 volts. Mine was reading a little bit high. Get it to read out at exactly 12 volts. And then you can go along to your 24 volt step up converter and then adjust that as well. Hook up your timing module, refer to your manufacturer for the specifics. My negative wire went in the middle, my positive wire on the far left from this angle. When it turns on, this is the default program. To change, hit the first key and go to mode 2. Hit the third button, or no, the first button to set the T. I ended up setting it to 1. You really only need a few milliseconds, but one should be fine. These things don't go under a second. Make sure everything works okay. When the green light comes on after two seconds, you're all set. Disconnect everything. And put the timing module back in the box. Sorry, my arm got in the way. Tie a knot to indicate which wire goes to the 24 volt step up converter. And hook it up with the necessary cables. Thread it through the box, don't forget that, that was a pain. Turn it on, make sure everything works right. Pull out your 
your TMC 2100 drivers. So this is the pin configuration. You'll see the new has two new pins. On the, if you're using the protector, remove the pins on the bottom and put them on the top. These should be your adjusted pin configurations. When you place them together, make sure they make solid contact. You may have to bend them a slight bit to get them to make good contact. Now plug them back in. Red should go to VM. Black should go to ground. Red is top. Black is bottom. Don't get these mixed up. So you can hear the how whiny the motors are in the background of this video. If you really want to go hard, you can get rid of that loud E3D Chimera 30 millimeter fan and go with a 40 millimeter. You can hear how much quieter it is. absolute stealth. Thanks for watching guys. Hope it goes well for you.